Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Fernando Velarde, national referee. Our second referee is Ryan Vincent Corpus, national referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Middle blocker from De La Salle University, number two, team captain, Abby Maragno. Opposite hitter from the National University, number three, IV Laxina. The rest of the starters from De La Salle University, number four, outside spiker, Aragala. Outside spiker, number eight, Jolina De La Cruz. Setter, number nine, Kim Fajardo. Middle blocker, number 10, Matjoy Baron. Starting libero is number five, Don Magandili Katindig. And the head coach for F2 is Regine Diego. And now the starters for the next lad, Chameleons. Opposite hitter from the Far Eastern University, number two, Laika Ebon. Outside spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number three, Joe Maraginot. Middle blocker from Anderson University, number seven, Chris Magaslan. Outside spiker also from Anderson, number nine, Chiara Permentilia. Middle blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number 10, Camille Victoria. Center from the National University, number 17, Camille Kahl. Starting libero from McEwen University, number five, Rachel Horvina. And the head coach for next lad is Minoa Takayuki. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is F2 versus next lad. This is the PBL, the heart of volleyball. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Pilipinas Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. F2 Logistics on your screens. Of course, the starters uh, for Coach Reg, Diego. And later on, we'll check out the next lead chameleons as well uh, here in your starting lineup too. We see Camille Cal, Orvina as the libero, Victoria Maraginot, Ebon Makaslang, and Permentilia, similar to their previous matchup uh, a week ago. As we bring on our first game, set number one on this Volleyball Tuesday. That's two logistics cargo movers against the next lead chameleons here in the United Center in Antipolo City. Yanni Mai here, Lex Intel, and Sam Corrales on the sidelines giving you all the action for this game. Combination play here. Next lead has the ball. A set to the other side. Attack. F2 has a chance from the back. And courtesy of the Ivy Laxina. And a great start there for Ivy Laxina. And we both know, Yanni, that both these teams had different and contrasting debuts. Um, for next led, they're gunning for their second win. This is a young team. And for F2 naman, they're looking for their first win this conference after being defeated by Akari in five sets. But next lead will answer back, courtesy of Joe Mar Maraginot. It's a one-point oh. game here. Now for next yeah, that was a great decision there by Joe Maraginot. And she, she saw the towers of F2, Baron, and Laxina. Sarado yung cross court, and she went for the check out. As we see, a service error here for next lead. Next set had a really strong start in their first game in the second All-Filipino Conference. F2, veteran team with young players as well. And speaking of young players, we have Jolis here on your screens as she serves. An up attack by Joe. Fajardo sets it back to Laxina and... That uh, goes uh, wide for the F2 Logistics as we head on over to Sam Corrales. Sam, what do you have for us? As we see right now, Don Macandini is back. All the way for the F2 Logistics. 
cargo movers. Now her presence was immediately felt by her teammates here in the venue during the warm-up because she was the one leading the chants during their warm-up. Now in their last game, she was watching her teammates from the sidelines, and but to her, it was so frustrating to see the struggle. So today, she hopes to contribute more against next leg since po daw talaga yung connection nila sa practice pa lang. They've done their homework against this team, reviewed their tendencies as well. So let's see if that can translate into a bounce back win for F2. Do not forget to download the Pilipinas live app for just 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Yanni and Rex. Thank you, Sam, for that report. Nice to see Dawn here uh, on the floor, but a while ago, they just called for a block touch challenge courtesy of the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Nakita mo ba yan, Rex? Yeah, uh, from my angle, I think it was a block touch. This is our first challenge of the game. And I don't know, huh? from my angle, that's what I saw, I, th I think. And mm. from what I saw, there was a block touch there. Right. Buti na lang, we can replay it later on uh, as they check out the challenge. But uh, for those who just tuned in, both teams have two challenges each. Yeah. Um, and it will only be cancelled out if the challenge is incorrect. And let's see here. Oh, interesting. Block touch is good. The challenge is successful for to the cargo movers. And in that sequence, it was kind of interesting, no? Because the ball was in between the antenna and the block. Now serving Majoy Baron. If Tumama is antenna, I think, and I believe, the other team could counter challenge. Right. And F2, one point lead here, an attack there by Ebon. As you see, Fajardo goes to the other side for Galang, and Galang gets it on the cross court. And this is what F2 misses the contributions of Aga Galang. And we all know that Naxina and, uh, Naxina and Pablo can contribute offensively. But it's the core of F2 that's been missing all these years from F2. As we see, Laika gets it off of oh the wipe. As we are neck and neck here in the early part of set number one. Three, yes, and according to the first game, based on the statistics, we all know that Laika Ebon is going to be the main uh, offensive uh, weapon of next lead. Kit Makaslang will start us off here. Combination play. Next it tries. Oh, catches the net and unable to keep that one in play and gives F2 another score on the board. And you know, yeah, when I look at next lead, the first thing that I'm going to look for there is the system of Coach Taka because uh, based on my experience the 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 movers, against the Japanese, teams, the Japanese players, they're really great defensively sa floor defense and yung attacks nila they have lots of variations and the low fast setting so it's going to be something to look forward to here's uh next led team right as you see action there oh, oh, the oh, point oh, goes to f2 as you said a while ago you have observed the type of coaching ng japanese yeah. what is the main difference between the filipino style and the japanese style of play actually personally um I think Filipinos are more in brand with the Japanese level of playing compared to the Brazilian or the European kind of playing. Because the volleyball there in Europe is more for tall players. However, the Japanese teams are more parang mga fast plays, more yung mga kahit ng natin sila. Right. So it's really a good opportunity for the Chameleons to have a great coach and a Japanese coach. Speaking of Camille, Yara Permentilia gets it off of a cut shot. Next lead is slowly creeping onto the doors of the F2 Logistics as we check it out closer here in this replay. Yeah, beautiful cut shot there for Permentilia. Sato, Sato, and that's in front of Don Makadili. And bihira mo lang magagawa yun in front of Don. Laika Ebon, FEU standout as she serves from Davao City. Oh, Reverse 
Ramirez. Abby Marano says no go here for next lead. That's a perfect timing and the set was a little bit inside. Kaya hinabol na lang ni Abby Marano. Pero with her fast instincts, all these years of middle blocker, kaya kaya na niya, adjust na niya. Aragalang puts it in play. Cal goes to the middle. Reverse set by Jones who chooses Ara. Cal has another opportunity here with Kiara. No go, says F2 as Cal goes to reverse as Tilaika Ebon. Oh, ball still alive. Well, F2. Oh. Yes, they do. I didn't even finish my sentence yet. <laughs> and they create an opportunity there. Another running attack here for Abby Marano, and this time it's a, it was a short running attack. It's a uh, good tactic na you vary your attacks. Kanina she went for a long running attack. This time she went uh, against the middle blocker of next lead. Right, as we see another service here. Aragalang gets ready as eight serving four. It's set number one. Kyle goes to Kiara again, blocked by F2. Goes to Luna, Fajardo oh. pushes it to the other side. <laughs> oh. Too strong for Kim Fajardo, right? Yeah, that was too strong. And siguro it was one of those rare opportunities for Kim Fajardo na pwede siyang umatake. Mm. And she took that opportunity. However, it sailed outside. Serving for next land, Kiara Pelmentilia. If if the, uh, the setters have those kind of opportunities, is it better to um, take that? Yeah, uh, sometimes pinipeke ng setter na they're, uh. they're gonna attack. And when the setter gets a point, kasi um, nasisira yung defense pattern of the opposition. Because it's not normally done. Oh. Okay. Five, six uh, rather to six eight. eight. Two point game here in set number one as we see. Next led a trying to create a lead. Kiara Permentilia with that serve. Aragalang. That is too strong again for the veteran team. Yes, that's another attack error of um, F2. So far, it's the unforced errors na nagpapadikit here for next lead. Mm. And speaking of unforced errors, in the in F2's game against Akari, was that also a big factor kung bakit naging five sets at dikitan yung game? Yeah, and it was a debut game for both teams and it's always the unforced errors kasi yung unforced errors, kalaban mo lang yung sarili mo eh. And, mm. Um, if you can see what you do in the game, and just like what we saw here, another serve, uh, another we attack for F2. And um, it's kind of what you expect for F2, but um, it's, it's an aspect or a department that they have to improve on because in the past couple of years, they've been in the bottom in attacking. And we all know that F2 is a... Lasal has a Lasal core squad and yung core kasi na Lasal they're very very good uh, floor defense mm. net defense however yung attacking they give parang hindi ganun yung importante for them eh. you see that reverse here speaking of core Lasal check out the F2's players creating this really long rally against next lead oh. coverage there Jello. by Andy Laksina no one to get the second ball though Good. Lead. Yeah, that was good reaction there for Ivy Laxina. However, no one was there to get the ball. One-handed save, but the F2 stuck in the mud here. And now we have next lead leading, and it's a 5-0 run. So it's going to be it's a question of Kailan magtatay ng si coach Regine Diego. <laughs> Again, this is just a first set. One point lead courtesy of the girls in black coverage here by next lead. An up a save by Ivy Laxina as Kim Fajardo sets it from the back. Jolina over. Camille Cal chooses the way. And Camille Victoria as she gets another point for the girls in black. And now it's a 6 0 run. Guys, this started with 8 4 with F2 leading. Now it's next lead with. 
Ooh, and a two-point lead. Eli Casilag, Mars Alba comes in. Kim Fajardo, Ivy Laxina goes to the bench for the squad of coach Reg. Yara Permentilia continues to serve. It's a two-point game here in set number one. Jolina, first ball. Alba goes to Eli. Next set has an opportunity here with Joe. Cross court, covered there by Ara. Alba goes to Joel as her former Jolina college teammate. Still teammate now, and yes. the connection is evident. And finally, they, they caught out of that 6-0 run. That was a, felt good for F2. They're now just down by one point. Team captain Abby Maraño here. The service. Camille versus two. Oh. Victoria there a while ago. As you see, F2 here. Galang. Oh. She <laughs> attempted an over and two play. Yeah, and we saw actually two or three attempts already here for Camille Cal. Oh. And we, we've been seeing that she's a very aggressive setter and she's mayong nasa options niya yung drop ball always. Right. And in that first game as well, she had those moments too. We'll see more of that hopefully in this game today. Oh, there was a net touch there from the attacker of next lead. Looks like Camille Victoria. But, um, let's check it out closer. Very evident net touch from Camille. Jolina De La Cruz. Majoy Baron on your screen. Cal oh. goes to the wing. Joba. Oh, there was a net That's touch right. from Casilag. And that's a lucky play there for next lead because they didn't um they didn't na execute properly yung set play nila. It was a low set, it was too low there for Joanna Maraginov. However, it resulted to a net touch for from Casilag. Again, it, another error there. Another error as well. Ah, he didn't. Yung wala, wala. Pito. Wala pa yung pito. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> Natawa na lang din. Si Camille Victoria, she gears up once again to serve. 11 points for both teams. Service there. Alba goes to Majoy. Set to Joe. Red like a book by M2. There's a good blocking from Casilag. And it's what you really need because you, as, uh, as an M2 team, you, you have your floor defense already. Uh, you have Katindig, you have Gala. So, Kailangan you supplement it with net defense or yung blocking also. Ooh, single block. Speaking of blocking, that's a good solid block there from Baron. And the swag right and after. As we get on to this technical timeout, courtesy of F. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block. Live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device. 
via the Filipinas Live app, download and register now. We just came off of, of the technical timeout here in set number one. Score is 13 to 11 with F2 Logistics up on top. And for people who are wondering, Rex, can you explain that new technical timeout rule here for those who just came in and tuned in? And for the technical timeout, we only have uh, one per set. It's on the 13th point. And the challenge system, naman, uh, the coaches can talk to the players. Mm, right, during yeah. the challenge system. Because wala nang ibang a uh, technical timeout. Yeah. So to compensate for um, the lack of another technical timeout, coaches can talk to their players during a challenge. Pwede lumapit. As we see Kim Kiana D here on your Still screen, so we will not be playing for the F2 Logistics here in this conference. So a lot of the players uh, here in the girls in yellow need to step up. Two-point game. Set number one with Kasilag starting us off of the technical timeout. Over received there. Quick set and attack. Next lead will try from the back. A red will by Majoy. Laika will send it over an opportunity for F2. Combination good. play for Joel Mina de la Cruz. And that's a good play. And with that play, nakita mo nabuhay yung F2. That's a good solid play. Uh, ganda ng pass ng middle end. What a perfect attack there for Jolina. Speaking of Nabuhayan, pati yung uh, crowd natin dito, the F2 Logistics fans also cheering for their team after that thunder by Jolina De La Cruz. Kasilag will continue to serve a two-point game here in set number one. 14 to 11 so far. And a while ago, Coach Reg already did one challenge. Successful though, so she still has two challenges left. And right now, F2 is leading three points. Earlier, it was next lead who had a 6-0 run. Now it's a 6-2 run here for F2. Check it out closely here. Missing that double block. Yeah. That was, a, that was wide open for down the line. Camille Kyle, 12, serving 14 right now. Over uh, receive. Created an opportunity here on the next lead side. Uh, and that is courtesy of Kit Makaslang. Yeah, that was a good service and poor reception there for Angelina. Alba and Casilag come out as... Laxina and Fajardo step back onto the court for the F2 squad. Kyle puts ball. it in play. Dive. Oh, good serve. F2 pushes it for a rainbow. Next set opportunity here. Don with the coverage. Fajardo reverses to oh. Lina. And she gets a swipe. What an attack there from Jelena De La, De La Cruz. 15, Just powering it in. And Lina a position Serving properly the there. Uchi Maragino resulting to a check out for Jolina De La Cruz. Also sporting new highlights, Jolina De La Cruz. As uh, shown in her social media. A Rich Makaslang enjoying another regalo. That's two points na nakuha niya sa regalo pa lang. Check it out here. F2 unable to cover that one. Kit Makaslang with that great uh, celebration as Joe will serve 14, serving 15 right now. Combination play at Agalang. One-handed set to Laika Ebon. She pushes it to the other side. And Ivy Laxina will get it down the Ivy line. Ivy Laxina! I saw Katin Big before she set that ball. Parang tinignan niya sino mga available spikers. And pumunta niya talaga siya sa pinaka-porsento. Their leading score so far, Ivy Laxina with four points. Ivy Laxina, of course, the girl we highlighted on our pregame. As you check out Majoy Baron, 16, serving 14 right now. 
One hand and set again by Camille Cal. Coverage here. Kiara Permentilia gives Three it ball. to F2. Oh. Set, attack, Abby. and the swag. Abby so far, Abby's running hits is 100%. 3 of 3. And it's the swag. Hindi mo talaga ma mawawala yung kay Abby Marano. That swag after that beautiful hit. Tama. Pati ako nabubuhan yan. <laughs> Two point game here. 17 serving 14. This is by Kiara and Majoy Baron gets another point for F2 Logistics. Timeout. Head on to a timeout courtesy of Next Led. And let's check out the, the play that sent us to the timeout. There you see it, and the coach Takana will call his troops, rally them once again as F2 is leading. We have our one touch, good one touch, but we couldn't get a point. That's a problem. Okay? We still have a chance. Okay, just remain. Let's go. Not you, not you. Just behind the road. First one touch. Yeah, thank you. Oh, One stop, one stop. Yes, yes. Just keep going. Coach Taka mentioned a while ago they have touches and they still have a chance. Rex, pag player, ano ibig sabihin na meron pa silang touches? Um, what I think what Coach Taka was uh, saying earlier is uh, meron silang receive but they can't convert it into points. So wala silang atake, the reception is there pero yun nga, they can't uh, seem to get an attack out of it or a point out of it. So need, they need better setting, mas maayos na. Oh, however, there's another block there, a single block for Ivy Laxina. And I think this is what Coach Taka is uh, telling Tamil Kal. Because uh, right after that timeout, he had specific instructions for her uh, uh, to change or to improve the setting choices or yung the variations niya because nababasa na ng F2 and Laika that's what they need a point there for Laika, Laika Ebon Thank you Rex ha. nagka point dito si Laika 15, 7, in the middle over that double block by the F2 logistics start of movers and Coach Taka will now substitute Kiara with May Luna for the next leg so in the first set, it's been a series of runs for both squads. Kit Makaslang here on the service line. Ooh, that is too strong Sorry. for next lead. And these are the errors that they cannot afford now that the F2 is nearing the end of the set. 20, serving 15. Yeah, if you're next lead, you need serving. to minimize your errors and to commit a stop right agad agad and not have F2 have a run. Ivy Laxina on your screens. It's 20 serving 15 right now. Camille Cal reverses to Laika Ebon who pushes it over. The double block and the pancake saved by Don is no go for F2. Yeah, that time around it was cutting big. It was maybe a 0.1 second late to get that pancake. Point one second. Wow. Every sec millisecond counts, Rex. My timer comes. Sempre. Sempre may split second. As a, as a volleyball player, if I attack, if I'm in the air, may split second decision making of where you're going to put the ball. Right. A combination play red there by next lead. Oh. Ivy from the back. That and that. She stepped on the line. Illegal Ivy Laxina with an attack error there. It's at 17 to 20 17, right now. 17, Next 17. lead is still knocking on the door of F2. But a while ago, early on this set, they were neck and neck because of unforced errors yeah. by both squads. Yeah. Don with the first ball. Fajardo goes to Ara. Oh. Ara Gala. Tight. That was yeah, tight. That's a classic Ara Gala play end. Ara Gala kasi is not known for her powers, powerful spikes. Magaling siya sa mga lagay-lagay. Her volleyball IQ is very high. Kasi volleyball is sometimes not always about power. It's mm. mind games din yan. And we have Ara Gala to prove it. 
You see uh, a while ago, next led had some substitutions as Cal uh, went out. Maggie Mahalo's in. And Ara Galen will continue to serve here. Oh, that's inside. Yeah. <laughs> IQ is the way. 22 serving 17. 22 to 17. Right now, Ara Galang, one opportunity away of getting a point here for F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Another good service and target there for Ara Galang. Fajardo quick set and attack to Chang Abi. Next lead pushes it. Fajardo with a oh. coverage here. But next lead, free Victoria ball. gives a free ball to F2. Next lead hanging on. Oh, good defense there from Laxina. Jolina de la Cruz. <laughs> oh, yeah. it. It's great to see the younger players really yeah. step up here in the pros. Parang mas nagkakatouches na nga yung younger players here. Parang the artists are giving them the opportunity to get comfortable as we check out the replay here. And we have a very calm Coach Regine Jago, meaning things are looking well here for F2. Six-point game at 23 to 17. Oh, another bad set there. Fajardo goes to Ivy, but that catches the net and they give the point to the next head. Masyadong binaon that time from Ivy Laxina. 18, serving 23. Uh, not over. They just need now two points to finish the set. May Luna. It's now a five-point game as May Luna yeah. will serve for the first time here in this uh, match. And going up against her Ates in La Salle also. Fajardo to oh. Abby just saw the game oh. in oh. at the back. First time ko lang na ganun na. That's just a short running attack. Uh, drop ball sa dulo. I have to try that. It's something that na, 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 it's set point for F2 Logistics, and this is a crucial serve here. Delina, first ball, goes back to her for that attack. Next lead. Oh, right. wow. Oh, oh, oh. Saves a set point. What a cut shot there for Joma Raginot. Going over those two blockers. She's a gilid nilang dalawa. What a hit. And on cue, Coach Red Diego will stop the momentum of the next lead side and go to F2 Logistics with this time out. Last one, F2, move her! So, that's it. You can see who you are. It's like that's what they For this crucial a part of set number one. Still serving for next one, Camille Victoria. Camille Victoria, 20 to 24 now. Fajardo, go to Majoy Baron. Oh, and the save is no good for next lead as F2 Logistics, F2 Logistics takes seven gets one, set number one. To check is the winning play here on our screens. It was a drop ball, a donut hole there for Baron. And next lead is unable to cover for that one. F2 Logistics 20.
PBL All Filipino Conference, the second edition here in 2023. F2 Logistics, five points lead a while ago, and next led 20 points as well. F2 able to get set number one as we check out our set one highlights. And it was F2 who had an edge in that set. And actually, that first set, it was a particularly close set in the start, uh, in the beginning, in the middle. And it was a series of runs for both teams. Uh, there was a 6 0 run there for Next Led and a 6 1 run naman for F2. And uh, coming to the second set, it's a matter of who will have uh, lesser unforced errors because there were lots of unforced errors. And in terms of attacking, it was F2 who had 16 to 13. So blocking 3 to 0 for F2 and also aces 2 to 0 for F2 again. And speaking of our matchup for today, F2 Logistics really wanting to take uh, this game uh, coming from of a loss, a uh, five set loss. Uh, the duration of set number one is 31 minutes. Uh, their previous match against Akari. Uh, Got a set to 44 minutes naman. But next led, Chameleons wanting to create a winning streak for this young franchise team. Majoy Baron, when she went in a while ago, parang nagkabagong buhay na din. Yung F2 Logistics with her contributions uh, on the court. As we see Ara Galang with the smart plays in the set number one, as Rex mentioned. But Kit Makaslang also giving us uh, the intelligent... Uh, Points a while ago oh, for regalo, next yeah. led yung regalo nga niya, uh, Rex, as we head on over to set number two. The first game in this triple header Tuesday, PBL volleyball action for all of you. Yes, and if you're next led, um, you can be at par naman with attacking with F2. Pero you need to improve your blocking. Your, uh, you need to get more points a service, you need more aces, and you have to minimize your, your errors. So that's what uh, the chame chameleons have to do this set in order to uh, even things out with F2. Right. Fajardo with that serve. Cal sets it to Laika. Don. Too easy for Don. <laughs> I don't know if Majoy touched the ball. I don't know if if that's a point from Kim Pajardo or Majoy Baron. But eh, so. yeah, uh, they So Yeah, because it was a play that you didn't really get to read. That ball just went. It's like a net of Kim Pajardo in the court of the next lead. Well, it, it worked yeah. <laughs> for F2 as they are up here. 2 to nil. Kiara Permentilia goes to Joe. Oh, that was Jolina too low. pushes. Quick set and attack to Kit. Fajardo will go to Ivy Laxina oh. this time. Oh. <laughs> this time, I'm going to win. Actually, I'm not even sure if I'm going to win. But it's one of those plays that sobrang yung konting alter lang ng direction ng bola ang hirap ng basahin kasi hindi yun na sa usual training na pinagahandaan mo or anything it was a, one of those lucky breaks of the game okay okay so here we have Fajardo but that one catches the net and not a lucky break for F2 Logistics as they give a point to the next lead it's one serving three here in set Number two. Now serving for next lane, Camille Cal. Camille Cal on the service line. Next led a really young team. Rex, what is something that you want to see naman from uh, the team, from this newly franchised team? Um, this, this newly franchised team kasi puro, puro rookies or puro uh, galing sa ibang team. So it's a matter of who can really adjust to the system. Kasi each athlete, athlete sorry, has their own habits or meron kang own style. And yung, if you align those style with the, with the style of coaching, you will improve not only as a player but also as a team. Mm. Improving as a player, Ivy yeah. Laxina, as we highlighted her 
on the pregame, really integrating herself with this F2 Logistics squad. We talked about Ivy Laxina a while ago, how much she's open to growth. And she entered F2 as a middle blocker. And then a couple of seasons after, she became an outside hitter. And now she's, a, she's an opposite hitter, so she could really uh, attack from anywhere. And speaking of anywhere, we see another point from Ivy Laxina. And we head on over, of course, uh, for the stories on the sidelines. Let's go to Sam Corrales for this. Yanni and Rex, you are talking about new players and young teams. So after getting her first taste of professional volleyball and a win, Camille Cal told me that she does not feel any pressure at all. However, if there are any takeaways from that game, it is to have a lot of patience. They are a new team after all, but one thing is clear for Cal. She is committed to her role of making attacking easier for her teammates. Sabi nga niya sa huddle right before this set, babawi tayo, babawi tayo, heads up lang. Don't forget Get to download and subscribe to the Pilipinas Live app for just 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Yanni and Rex. Thank you, Sam. And jumping off of uh, Rex, uh, Sam's report a while ago. Kano ka hirap? You, you, you mentioned then na iba yung system, iba din yung habits ng players. I know you have experience integrating yourself to new teams. How was it for you naman? Um, for me, you know, what Camille Cal said, as a setter, kasi, um, the setter should always be the leader uh, sa team. Kasi siya yung, uh, siya yung playmaker of the team. Lahat ng bola dumadaan sa kanya. And when she said na uh, parang she had a confidence, um, that's a huge energy booster there for next lead. Kasi if you have a confident setter, um, you, you will have a confident team eventually with those attackers. Micah like Ebon! Like uh, Ebon. Uh, highlighted her a while ago as well. It's a two-point game right now. As we check it out once again. Another good drop ball. In, it was in the middle of the six players of F2. Kit Makaslang here on your screen. It's four serving six. Jolina with the first ball. Oh. They go to Ara. That wasn't even that a strong yeah. play. Yeah, that time around, Aragala sees the hole down the line. It was an easy spike for her. Mm. Now serving Ivy Laxina. And nakita mo rin sa approach niya eh, na maganda yung kalalabasan ng palo niya. Sometimes you can also see it sa approach. Seven serving for Ivy Laxina a while ago. Oh. Chang Abi closed the door on Kit Makaslang. What a good read there for Maranyo. And that was, uh, I think, Victoria who got denied there from, by Maranyo. We saw it on the replay. Hey, Judith Abil, Queen. Judith on your screens as she comes back here in the PVL. Four-point game right now. Ivy Laxina with five points, four attacks, and one block. Push there. Ooh, Ooh dump by Fajardo. Next lead. Able to cover that one. Don Makandili goes to King. <laughs> <laughs> and another attack error there for Fajardo. We saw one in the first set. And Five I think this time she asked for it. However, again, it was too long for her. Now serving, Laika Ebon. Too strong for Kim Fajardo. And Laika Ebon now will serve a 5-8. to eight. Three-point game in set number two. And up here, Kim chases it for Ivy Laxina. Ball catches the net. Goes through, though. Camille Victoria there. And it was a net touch for the Chameleons. Aragalang to think for the contribution to the team as she goes to the service line. And so far, this F2 squad hasn't fielded in the, another offensive weapon, Myla Pablo. 
Mm, you're right. Uh, we haven't seen Myla yet uh, in uh, the game. Uh, Jolina De La Cruz. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the reason why, because Jolina De La Cruz and uh, Ara Galang has been uh, effective here, offensively and defensively for F2. So it just shows how deep the bench of F2 has, no? Right. Check out uh, the F2 logistics on the side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> two attacks and she adds that. So, so far this game, the luck has been in, on F2 side, no? With all those, uh, parang mga miss hits, mga help of the net. Led still wants to stop the bleeding and right on cue. Bakanarinig ako ni Ara, but she serves that onto the net. And next lead will finally get the point here. So far, we have, uh, if you look at F2, they're more convincing. Eh? I mean, they're more parang. Uh, they're scarier compared to next led na mukhang kinakapapa nila yung set or kinakapapa nila yung game. Right. And that's also a given na F2 kasi matagal na din yeah. sila sa liga. Yeah. Next led, these are players mostly from Ooh. the Akari, Akari Chargers uh, since this is the sister team of Akari and they were usually on the bench uh, in the previous conference as we check out this replay. And sa team na to, they've, they've been given a new opportunity to make a name for themselves. And they didn't think of it as a downgrade nga, right. diba? It's a new opportunity to be coached by a Japanese coach. And again, Maranio continuing to do damage in her running attacks. 12 serving seven. Speaking of Abby, she goes to the service line as we check serving out the that the exact running Abby, attack once again you. here. Unable, uh, the blocker was unable to anticipate uh, that one as an over receive. Next led will try again with the tip. That was an easy ball for Fajardo. Jolina. Camille will go to the, the wing. Ivy with the coverage. Jolts will try again. Oh. Jolina de la Cruz. And a drop ball there for Jolina de la Cruz. Leading us to the technical timeout. Ago, showing her offensive prowess for the girls in black and it's exciting to see uh, these two rookies go head to head rookies coat and coat uh, this is the first time uh, uh, we really see Laika Ebon in full length here in the PBL as she was part of Akari before but now that it's set number two next set has to create a stop but someone who's stopping uh, that team is this girl on your screens Abby Marano will gear up in the service line. Still serving for F2 Logistics, Abby Marano. Abby Marano, 13, serving 7. She has 6 points, 5 attacks, 
and from five attacks and one block currently. And yeah, I like what you said, Devon. Uh, the former UAP stars are making a name for themselves here in the PVL. We have uh, De La Cruz with seven points. Make that eight no, points no, already no, no, no. for F2. And for next lead naman, we have Ebon leading the team with six points. And some of Jolina, if you check out the set and attack here in between the blockers of next lead, she's not playing like she's feeling any uh, pressure right now. Oh, hindi talaga. And this F2 team, kasi, um, I mean, if you're gonna compare it with other teams in the PBL, they're attacking over the past few years nga have been on the bottom. And they're known for their for next defense and net defense. Pero pag gumana yung offense nito, and they could be, pag gumana yung attacking nila, this is a really uh, scary F2 team to deal with. As we check out, uh, Ivy pushes it to the other side. Oh, Camille yeah. Cal finally getting that over on two, but F2 was there to cover. Cal will go to Joe. Block point for F2 Block Logistics. Point for F2 Logistics. And we also have to give credit to Ivy Laxina in that play. It was a good defense there. And we haven't been mentioning it all throughout the game, no? Pero uh, Ivy Laxina as a as an opposite spider contributing uh, also to their defense. And dami yan ako ang mga, uh, mga digs here. And would that be attributed to the fact na ang dami niya ng positions yeah. na pinagdaanan? Yeah, and um, it's a good thing kasi, uh, I mean, Ivy Laxina was a middle blocker before, right? And doon niya nakuha yung agility niya, doon niya nakuha yung blocking niya. Back when she was NU, that was her uh, position before. And right. then she was contributed to an open spiker. And if you're an open spiker, you're an all-around player. Because you have to uh, learn to receive. Nandiyan din yung atake, nandiyan din yung defense, yung block. Eh, ngayon, nandito na siya sa opposite. And if you're an opposite spiker, you're the main attacker. Kumbaga, ikaw yung killer talaga ng team nyo. Your main focus is attacking all throughout the game and uh, it's and with, with her attacking nadadagdagan niya pa to ng defense to contribute to the team also check out this challenge ball in ball out challenge yeah, that was clearly out medyo malayo from the replay here Unsuccessful for the team. Next lead, and a while ago we talked about how the coaches can already approach the team whenever there's a challenge and give uh, what they think are the adjustments throughout the game, and that might have been the opportunity for Coach oh. Kaka. And I think so far this is the only league na that allows that, no? Because so far, ang, ang, it's a good decision that coaches are allowed to talk to the players because there's a lot of dead air because kapag may challenge system and kapag may challenge system there's minsan matutuyon kayo ng pawis or uh, malilipat yung momentum to the other side and speaking of momentum the momentum still in F2 side with a block there from Laxina it's the power of Baron and Laxina that time and F2 here it's 17 Serving eight with Mars Alba at the helm. The rookie setter here in the pro ranks. Judith Abel with the first ball, a chase by Camille Cal, and they send it over to F2, who has this opportunity. Well, they take Ooh. it. Ivy Laxina! Oh. Yes. And that was a perfect set there for Ivy Laxina, and she clearly liked that one. What a powerful spike. And Makaslang was clearly out of position. I think it was a bad idea to go. Para ko abuling yung block na yun. That was bad positioning there. As we listen in to Coach Taka in this timeout. Change the injury. Now focus on going to the next set. Okay? Not this set. It's okay. Just now try to fix. So from next set, we need to get. Okay? Okay, now, now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's strong hit, it's okay. Like a no block, one block, and it's still hitting down. It's okay. It's not. They're good. 
We need to make a hard decision. Okay, go, 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 go. go. Yes. 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 What stuck with me is yung last sentence ni Coach yeah. Taka, yung sinabi niya, they're good and we need to make the hard decisions. And yeah. yun nga, sinasabi mo, tying it to your one point, yeah. a zero point one second split-making yeah. decision, they also need to create that momentum and Stop that serving. chemistry <laughs> with the next leg squad. Ako, what stuck with me naman with what he said was, um, it's okay, let's not focus on this set, let's just focus on the next set. And the score is just 18. Malayo pa to. F2 still needs 7 points. Pero Coach Taka is telling the team na just fix your just fix yourselves and let's just, just go for the next set. Ooh, and the save of um, Don Bacadilla is no good as Joe is able to create an opportunity out of that time out from Coach Taka and they're up to 9. 9 serving 18. And yeah, and it, in Coach Taka's first game, they um, the next they line. won against the uh, Jer Floor defenders. And if ever they lose the next set, it's going to be their first loss. And I think it's important to note that they should not be down in loss na to against F2 because they're really a young team and they have lots and lots to improve on. They have a young team has lots of potential and. Uh, they have um, months and years ahead of them under okay. Coach Taka system. Right. Ten point game here. Jolina De La Cruz putting this ball in play. Judith Abel, Camille Cal will go to Kit Makaslang. Coverage there. Aragalang will try with this one. Camille chases it and goes oh. to Joe, but that touches the antenna. Ball out. Check it out uh, more closely here, right onto the antenna, meaning the ball is out and the yeah. point will go to F2 Logistics. And in this second set, if you're going to summarize it, it looks like a mismatch. Um, so far, it's uh, F2. Parang, uh, they're just waiting for next lead to commit a mistake. Uh, clearly, F2 is dictating the offense and defense in this set. Speaking of F2, Ethan Arce on the floor. Marian Andal as well as she covers for that one. Going to Aragalang with a tip over to next leg. Oh, there. May Luna May stops the Luna. for the girls in black. And May Luna was clearly asking for it that time. And this is what next led uh, needs. Because they na gumagana yung attack nila, so they need variation in their attacks. As we just saw, uh, May Luna just wiping it against the hands of the blockers of F2. That is not equal points. Sometimes it's those attacks that will give you points rather than uh, yung mga textbook spikes. Right. IQ nga naman as we see Myla Pablo on the floor as well. Ooh. And Laxina cross court. First referee yeah. says it's ball out and the point will go to next lead. That was out. Uh, F2 is just five points away from taking the first set. And we just saw a shuffle of players here from F2. Like what you said, Arce is in. Um, Pablo is in. Oh. That was a missed timing there from Arce. It was shadong late. I mean, as a middle blocker, alam ko yung timing. Mm. Dapat kasi if you're a middle blocker, before pa iset ng, before pa mahawakan or pagkahawak ng set, or nakatalon ka na. Ah, okay. Andal there. Oh. And Ivy, and Ivy varies yeah. her attack. It's just a tip to the other side or a dump. That's her 11th point already. Ivy Laxina. She's only been here a couple of years, but she's playing already like a veteran. She knows uh, how to score, when to score. And Ethan Arce. And, yeah. That serves. Services, Ethan Arce. She gets Arce. a service. Yeah. It's Binawi na yung oh. error niya kanina. <laughs> Ethan Arce. And here we have another new player coming in for F2. Joy Dacoron. 
So far, parang lahat na ng middle blockers of M2 nagamit na. Speaking of medals, Than is still still here. 22 serving, 12. It's set number two. Maji will go to Laika Evan, and that one oh. is too strong for Laika. And a lucky break there also from De La Cruz. It looks like she was gonna get it. Kaso hindi niya naabot. Good thing it sailed right outside. 23, two points left for F2 to take home set number two. Can next lead close the gap? Judith Abel, a dive there. Combination play. Laxina goes for a soft touch. Abel again with an attack. Ethan Arce. Alba goes to Myla Pablo. Will they save it? Next lead will give F2 this opportunity through a rainbow. Ooh. Oh. And Ivy Laxina reminiscing her old middle blocker days with a back quick attack. F2 Logistics now at set point. And if you give F2 any type of opportunity, you know that they're not going to yeah. waste it. Oh. And this is the F2 that I was talking about. Uh, F2 that's effective offensively as a scary team because that, that, that the F2 defense is already a given for them. Right. And that one serves right to the net for Ethan Arce. It's 13 to 24 13. set point right now for the F2 logistics cargo movers. Now serving Rich Makaslang. Get Makaslang will do a very important serve here for next leg. Galina first ball. Alba. Myla. Pancake save is good. From next leg, they send it over. Myla's asking for it again. Oh. Oh. Attack error. Attack error for Myla Pablo. And next leg will go to the 14th point. 10 point game so far. Get Makaslang again on our service line as she gathers herself for this all important serve. Can she save another set point here? Another good serve. Jolina, we go to Ivy. Ivy Laxina bringing this set home for the F2 Logistics. Cargo movers as we see the winning play here on our screens. Attack here by Ivy Laxina cross court. And we'll bring you guys a set and number three action when we come back.
as we see them on our screens coming off of a huddle here. Next lead, Chameleons have to step up if they want to extend this match against the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Yanni Mayo here with Rex Intel and Sam Corrales on the sidelines as we give you set number three action. And we'll see if the F2 squad, courtesy of Ivy Laxina and her sc scoring prowess this game, can bring this match home or if uh, Kit uh, Makaslang and Laika Ebon can extend it here in our PVL Tuesday triple header as we bring you set number three. But a few clarifications here on the court uh, with Coach Taka. I think uh, they're checking uh, the players and the rotation for both squads. Set number three action. Thank you very much for watching us on the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. You see, Maggie, Sun of Sun of getting Sun ready here at two, two sets. Well, next sled has yet to get a win here. Ooh, and they start strong with a block point from Kit Makaslang and Laika Ebon. And I believe this is their first block point this, this game. Kit Makaslang. For next lead. And that one is so too long for Maggi as she gives a point to the F2 Logistics Serving squad. F2, Mars Alba. This is something you don't want, uh, especially if you're down 0 2. If you get a point and then follow, up, follow it up with an error. As Mars Alba with that serve. Laika with a cross court. Laika and Ebon. Mars just misses that one. But we do want to get the stories from the sidelines as we head on She's over to one. Sam Corrales. What do you have, Sam? Selena De La Cruz and the other young players of F2 were making the most of their minutes in that last set. Sabi ni Coach Reg, regardless of whoever she puts on the floor, they have to contribute and step up. They cannot wait or depend on another player to do the work. Sabi niya, it's more of the psychology of her team. They have to take matters into their own hands. And like what the players said earlier in their huddle, remember who they are. Don't forget to download and subscribe to the Filipinas Live app for just 149 pesos a month. Back to you, Yanni and Rex. Speaking of Jolina De La Cruz, as you see her in the service line, it's a two-point ball game in the early stages of set number three. Like a ball, although it was not that powerful, it was perfectly timed and perfectly positioned. Right, as you check it out once again and yeah. She was doubting that. Yeah, it, it actually looked like it was going to sail out of bounds. However, with the help of the trajectory, Bumaba for Ebon. Next lead leads by one point in the set. Like Ebon will try again, but the coverage there by Marian. Ivy Laxina. Go back to Laika. Sends it to the yeah. donut hole. Another good positioning there for the attack of Laika Ebon. So far, she has nine points leading the, the, end next, end, the next lead team. And Laika Ebon, uh, one of the go-tos of next lead. We also have Ket Makaslang with two points uh, from two attacks so far. And they have a two-point lead. And the miss received by Jolina De La Cruz will give next lead their fifth point here. And now they're leading three points. If you're F2, you don't begin to next lead because you don't, you can't really tell what um, they have to offer. Yeah. Being a young team yeah. and new to the PVL. Yeah, and for sure, gigil na gigil to maglaro. Coverage there. Jolina. Ara. Maggi go to the wing. Oh, and a chase by next lead, unable oh, to boy, save at that point. It's a block, boy, block point uh, by F2 Logistics. It's three to five here in set to number Maggi. three. And Majoy Baron will serve for F2 Logistics. Maggi will go to Laika. 
F2. Mars Alba chooses Aragalang. Coverage there by Joe. Maji underhand set and they send it over. F2. Combination Ooh. play. Chang Abi was red. Go back to Ara. She tried to make away. A soft touch here by Next Leg and F2 will send it over. Maji goes back to Laika Ebon. Blocked and pushed by Ara Galang. Next lead again, red by Chang Abi and Ivy. Oh. And they finally stop that long rally. Courtesy of Camille Victoria. And Coach Taka is here, <laughs> holding his breath a while ago, now laughing it off. And that was our longest rally of the game. Ended by Camille Victoria. It's a 6-3 to three now. And if you're next led, this is what you want to see. Now, the, the coach is laughing, the players are laughing. They're having fun. Ivy Laxina! Speaking of having fun, Ivy Laxina wants to get it oh. back for her team. Ivy Laxina, you're enjoying it. Okay. You said that. Ivy Laxina! Yeah, but if you're next led, you have to. Uh, in the first two sets, kasi, they look like kinakapa nila yung sari nila or um, parang takot sila to commit a mistake. But initially, they have to start with themselves. As Coach Taka said in the timeout a while ago, and we see Laika will send that over to F2. Scramble here. Jolina over on two play by Mars. Covered. Block by F2. And Chang Abi pushes it over. Camille Victoria. Too oh. wide for her, though. Yeah, that was too wide for Camille Victoria. Five, six. Um, it would have given them a three-point lead. Now it's uh, F2 just inching closer to get the tie. And a while ago, we mentioned that a lot of the points for both squads are coming from unforced errors. As yeah. we see, Ivy Laxina, 14 points from 12 attacks and two blocks. But speaking of unforced errors, next led cannot afford that if they want to extend yeah. this match. Maji reverses to Laika and this, he gets it off the white. Laika Ebon continuing to do damage. It's just Ebon and Laxina who has double digits so far in this game. Ebon with 10 and Laxina with 14. Seven serving five here. I think this is the longest uh, time that Nexed was able to maintain this lead that they have against F2. They reverse to Victoria. Soft touch. Mars will choose Ara. And that is also wide for F2 Logistics. So it's back to back. Five forced errors for both squads. It's at eight serving five right now. And next led wanting to keep this lead over F2 Logistics. Quick set and attack to Abi Marano. And that is not even the strongest of. Yeah. Attacks, but uh, she was able to make a way. So far, Abby Marano is getting majority of her attacks. A 40, niya, which is a running spike. That time, it's a short running spike, and it's her sixth point coming from an attack. Coming from an attack. Aragalang now with a serve. Over received by next lead, and De La Cruz is able to. Block that one to give F2 Logistics their seventh point. Seven, that was F2 taking advantage of that poor reception. As you check that out again, no one there from next lead to cover. It's a seven a serving eight, a one point game here for F2. And the good anticipation Seven. there by Laika Ebon, as she did not get that service that sailed out. It's 9 to 7 right now. They have a challenge from F2 Logistics. And the F2 Logistics out. will challenge. Ball in, ball out here. And from what I saw, it looked like it was outside. 
but Rex, I mean, you're taller than me, so I feel like you have a better view. <laughs> Actually, from my angle, it also look outside. Okay, hindi kailangan ng strong, kailangan quick. Understand? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, tuloy, tuloy lang tayo doon. Yes, sir. Okay? Of course, hindi pwedeng... Ay! Silipin nyo na yung kalaban. Front setter, eh. Ang gawin mo yung nakagawin. Basta sa'yo ang setter, tsaka middle. Okay? Uh, setter, kung a-atake ka, kunin mo. Puntos talaga. Hindi yung swerte. Okay. Pwede lang. And we check out the, the challenge here. It looks like it looks like it a went shadow. Out. Yeah. yeah. It's outside. The challenge is unsuccessful. Unsuccessful for Coach Red Diego. And she has won the last challenge for set number three. Nine serving seven. Now serving Camille Victoria. Camille Victoria on your screens as she serves. Nine serving seven right now. That one service is ace, Camille Victoria. service ace for Camille Victoria. Coach Reg pointed to her bench and asked Ten serving seven. if it was worth a challenge or not. It's 10 serving seven right now. Don Macandili on your screens as Camille Victoria will put this ball in play once again. And that time, it was yeah. outside. It's the series of runs that will that are cut through unforced errors. Now serving, Abby Maranyo. Uh, times na sinasabi mo yung mga sayang. Opportunities yeah, that could have uh, played well for the team. And Abby Maranyo with a serve. Ooh, save there. Galang. Oh, oh, oh. Like the air ball with the shank. That was a lucky break there for F2. In over na lang nila yung bola. However, it was... Yeah, it started with a miss set there from Baron. However, it's one of the, those rare instances of Laika Ebon committing an error. Kit. Oh, and no one behind. One Next lead to get to that ball as F2 now will tie it at 10. Good timing and good blocking there from Majoy Baron. La Cruz and company wanting to get a lead here. Next lead will try to deny that one for them as Maggi will go to Laika. Oh. Denied and blocked. Oh, oh, so far, it's the blocking of F2 that's working. Wala silang pinalampas na bola there to that sequence. Sealed. Covered here yeah. by Jelena De La Cruz and Majoy Baron. We have different generations of LaSalle players. Abby Marani with seven points so far. Maris Alba will set to Jolina. Kabachmate niya. Joy gets it off of a cross court. So far, see si Joanna, see si Joe Maraginot has been. Converting lots of attacks from cut shots at that time it was a powerful cut shot there. Mga manini pis na palo, it is forty ni Joanna Maragino. Right, and we've seen that throughout the game today. It's working though for next lead as they block that one, but Majoy Baron sends it back to give F2 the lead. 12 to 11 right now. If you check it out uh, more closely, more sets to yeah. Majoy Baron. Perfect attack there from Baron, and it's the lapses of the of Makaslang there that resulted to a point from Baron and another point from F2. It's a 13 to 11 right now. As
Tigers. Watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as, as the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference sets going every Wednesday, Friday, uh, Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live to check out men's volleyball action there in the Spikers Turf. But going back here to the women's side, it's the PVL All Filipino Conference. As we see F2 Logistics leading by two points right now against the next lead. Chameleons, and it's good to see them uh, with high spirits. Kahit na dikita yung game and medyo intense yung atmosphere uh, here on the court with next led. Camille Victoria, Joe, really helping uh, their team rally here in set number three. And if we see, if we take a look at next led score it looks like they were stuck at 11. Um, there were a series of runs there from f2 there were lots of blocking that happened and speaking of blocking all throughout the game um, f2 has dominated the net um, against next led f2 has 10 blocks compared to the single block of next led all throughout the game and speaking of impressive stats, seven excellent sets for Mars Alba. And a block point for Majoy Baron. F2 goes up to 14 right now. And again, speaking of the blocking, another block. Now that's a total of 11 for F2. And just one from next lead. Wow, more than half of the points yeah. come from <laughs> block points for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Atin Dig will set to Ivy Laxina. Ivy and the block is good. They can block, they can attack. F2 is going well for F2. And if you're next led, if you have lots of blocks happening sa mga attackers mo, you have to vary your setting, you have to change your setting style. And I think Coach Taka mentioned that to Camille Cal a while ago then. She has to vary that sets and create uh, differently for next set. And speaking of Camille Cal, she comes in here for Maggi Mangulabnan. And players coming from the bench have a different perspective now on the yeah. game, right, Rex? Yeah. And if you're, if you're coming from the bench, kasi you can see parang yung whole movement eh, compared to... Uh, if you're inside the court, na you're more focused on what's happening with yourself. If you're coming from the bench, you can see the whole team and what you lack and what you need to improve on. Attack here. And speaking of lacking, uh, 17, serving 11. next lead needs to improve their attacking. Right. So and far, it's been easy balls coming through the net of F2. Six-point ball game here. F2 Logistics up on top as Mars Alba serves. Camille Cal underhand set goes to Laika. Laika Evon! And she gets it off of the block of F2 and no one anticipated that uh, from the cargo movers as we check it out here in this replay. And finally, next lead gets a point then. Nevertheless, it wasn't an easy one. She had to go over the blockers. Five-point game here, a lead by F2. Oh. Miscommunication there from the F2 Ooh. squad. A push here, next it has the ball. Like a Ebon who tried oh. again and no one there to cover behind. The FEU standout as Ivy Laxina checks on Laika to see if she yeah. is okay. I saw um, parang during that sequence, in the middle of that sequence, uh, I think the mass of the Ivy Laxina resulting to like Ebon stepping on it. Shola Alvarez. Shola Alvarez has 18, serving 12 right now. It's a third set here. F2 Logistics wanting to end this early. Well, next led. He's looking for an extension. 
and possibly winning this Ooh. match as well, but no go by F2. What the blocking. What blocking here from F2. Baron and Laxina. And we're so used to having Baron and Kiana D before, but it seems like they still have it with Ivy Laxina, who's, I think, taller than Kiana D. It's 19, serving 12 right now. And F2 on top, IV with the first ball, a set to Majoy Baron. No coverage here by Majoy Next Gen. And, and a good find there from Baron. And Baron is not known for her powerful attacks. She just swipes it almost every time, but it's been Number effective all throughout her career. As we see, Judith Abel comes in for May Luna. 20, serving 12. Crunch time here for both teams. It's 20 to 12 right now in set number three. Oh, good serve. Kit Makaslang. Katindig will set to Ivy. Kyle will go back to Kit and she. Richard. Gets a lucky break from that single block coverage of Majoy Baron. And a sigh of relief <laughs> after that after that point. Parang pagod na pagod na yung next lead to get a point. Then kailangan talaga just to get a single point. Kailangan pagtrabahuin talaga nila because F2 really is giving them a hard time. Right. And it's from my observation, correct me if I'm wrong, it's just them F2 varying their place, not even yeah. really intense attacks and spikes. Yeah. And it's clearly F2 just dictating the tempo all throughout the game. It's just parang um, it's next led living in F2 sport. 21 Serving to for F2. Majoy Baron. Majoy Baron. With an opportunity to get their next point. Next led. Wanting to delay this further. Uh, and Camille Cal. <laughs> she looks on to F2 Logistics Squad. <laughs> 14, 7, 21. Check out that powerful attack what, there. Yeah, what a beautiful back set there. Setting the middle. Like Ebon with that serve. Attack Ooh. by Ara. And that one is. Yeah, I thought it was going in as well. However, it sailed out too wide. 15 for Ara Gala. 15 to 21 right now. It's six point game. Like Ebon with a crucial, crucial serve for next lead. Set to Ara. Coverage here. Joe will go to Judith on the other side. F2. It's an opportunity with Ara once again. Powers through the block as Camille Tal goes to Judith. F2 here with the ball. They go to Ivy. Oh. <laughs> and a gaping Ivy hole Laxina. on the side is the way to go for Ivy Laxina. Yeah, Ivy Laxina telling everyone that she'll finish that rally. Looking very comfortable yeah. in her original position, the opposite spiker with a couple of new skills from her other positions as well as Kim Fajardo now serves and Elika Silag here in the last stretch for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. And speaking of Kim Fajardo and Alba, we have to credit their setting all throughout the game. They have three players in double digits. And we have Laxina leading all scorers with 19 points. Jolina De La Cruz with 11. And Baron with 10 points. And speaking of Kim Fajardo, service ace there brings F2 to 23. Next lead still trailing at 15 right now. And... Good showing here by F2 Logistics as they're coming off of a five-set loss in their first game. Another service ace by Kim Fajardo. And 
Rutsch, starke Nachweise. What he's been seeing, the latter part of this set or match. Now we are at match point and another crucial serve by Kim Fajardo. Let's see it. Oh, that one serves outside and they give a point to next land at 16. Now serving for next land, Judith Abel. Judith Abel wanting to save this match point. It's the third set here. Mm. And the service error will give that to the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, proving that they are the veteran team and showing next leg that they still have a long way to go in this game. And for sure, they'll take all the yeah. earnings with them in their next match. Yes, and again, this is a very young team with a bright future ahead. Lots to improve on, lots of potential. And we're going to see the better of next led in their next game. 25 to 16 on our score. Relive this game and all PVL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 1 of 49 pesos. And we'll be back to wrap up this match. Now as our player of the game, we have Ivy Luxina of the F2 Logistics. First of all, congratulations and belated happy birthday again, Ivy. You had 19 points, 15 attacks, and 4 blocks in today's game against NextLed. So, unang-una, ano yung nag-iba sa larong ito at naka-bounce back kayo? Um, siguro po nagkaroon pa po kami ng communication kasi yun po yung nagkulang po kami last uh, game po namin. Ayun po, and yung trabaho namin, di na po kami masyado nagsa-stop ngayon. Second game mo na in double digits, so you played with a lot of confidence, even as an opposite spiker. So saan nang gagali yung kompiyansa na yun, Ivy? Um, hindi ko na po kasi siya inisip na bago siya sa akin, kasi uh, ito po yung kailangan ng team na yun. So uh, gagawin ko lang po, uh, i-embrace ko yung binigay na position sa akin, and maglaro lang po ng all out. There's a lot of trust there from Coach Reg, for sure. So, Ivy, aside from your attacks, we also saw your efforts at defense. So, paano mo naman pinaghandaan ang role mo on defense? Um, siguro po, syempre, madalas po kasi sinasabi na matang ka, hirap mag-defense. So, dun po ako nag-double work talaga. And hindi na po kasi ako pumapasa masyado. So, dun po talaga ako nag-focus. And your hard work definitely paid off. Ivy, may mga gusto ka bang batiin at home, your family and friends, and of course, the fans here for F2 sa Antipolo. Um, hello po sa mga F2 fans po, and sa mama daddy ko po, and kay Dina Wong po, and sa Wong family, and sa mga kaibigan po namin, hello po. And there you have it, our best player of the game, Ivy Luxina. Thank you very much, Sam, and it's good to see Ivy, um... Showing her props here in the PBL.
Well, of course, we go to our match highlights as we see the highs and lows of both of our teams. Rex, what did you like in this game, in our first game here in this triple header? Um, if I were uh, to summarize the game, F2 played at its peak. They played a very high level. And on the other hand, man, uh, it was next led na medyo nangangapa and didn't play at their best. So, nagkasabay that led to F2 dominating all the sets. And uh, we love to see F2 Logistics getting their groove back here on the PVL. And for next led, it's back to the drawing board for this new franchise team with Coach Taka, of course. Um, as you said a while ago, the Japanese style of coaching is very straightforward as well. So I think the players will go back and regroup for the girls in black. But the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers getting their first win here in the second All-Filipino Conference in the PBL 2023. And it's been a joy to watch for both teams here right now as we check out our match statistics. So what did you see here in terms of the numbers, Rex? Uh, if you look at all the departments of attacking, it was 42 to 27. That was a that's a huge margin uh, right there. And another huge margin here is the blocking department, 12 to 1. So that's one uh, that they have to improve on for next lead. And also in aces, 7 to 2. So it's clearly F2 dominating the entire match against next lead. That's right. And although we finished uh, the game one here on the PVL, don't worry, we have more volleyball action here in the Inaria Center Antipolo with Farm Fresh Foxies versus the PLDT High Speed Hitters. On behalf of Rex Intal and Sam Perales, this has been Yanni Mayo. Don't go away for more volleyball action here in the PVL, the hearts of volleyball. The biggest thing that kind of caught my attention first was the support. It's surreal. They give me a reason to show up in the morning and that's my kind of goal. Perform the best I can so that they can rely on me. It's more of that and I think everything else will come into place. I wouldn't have wished for any other team. So I'm really glad that I, I chose PLDT. 